Hi, my name is Liz Bowen. I am a realtor and owner of Red Bow Realty here in beautiful Colorado Springs. And with me today is Chris Kelson with Ground Floor Home Inspections. I'm very excited to have Chris here with us so that he can answer some questions about what home inspections are and why you need one. So thank you for joining us. Thanks, Liz. You got it. So I'll go ahead and just kind of pose the question. What sure. is a home inspection? Yeah, Liz, uh, a home inspection is a visual, non-invasive inspection of the home. Okay. We say as of the day of the inspection, but uh, a very thorough inspection, looking at, uh, in our case, we look at over 400 items, all covered in what we have is what this calls the standard of practice. All right. But it's all of these items we start um, uh, on the outside of the house, of course, and we look at the grounds and the roof and the exterior, and then move on to the inside, the attic space, all the way down to the basement and the major systems, things like the electrical panel, the electric itself, is it wired properly? Is it going to cause a problem or a fire? Um, and then all the way down to the HVAC system or the plumbing, making sure, for example, the, uh, the plumbing piping is proper. Uh, we have some uh, piping out there that can be very damaging. So mm, Interesting. Yeah. And why should a buyer have a home inspection done? Yeah, so uh, I guess the primary thing would be a peace of mind, wouldn't it? Um, but uh, beyond that, what we believe is we are inspecting the house to make sure that that buyer is safe in the house. Many times you have children or even adults or even just the family and uh, being safe in that ho house is huge. And so the, the focus is on that safety and making sure the systems in the house are not going to um, cause them harm. And then secondly would be things like the structure. Most of us buying a house, we're concerned is the house going to be healthy? Mm. Um, and, and that structure uh, inspection is going to start all the way from the attic and, you know, getting up in that attic if possible and also on the outside and looking at the, uh, the foundation itself and the condition of the, even the doors, because if a door is off, off kilter, it's possible that some of the house has moved a little bit. Gotcha. Yeah. And here in Colorado, uh, particularly in Colorado mm -hmm. Springs, that definitely is important. We do have shifting soils yeah. in different areas. Yes. So having a good understanding of, um, really whether you need to talk mm -hmm. to a professional and get like a structural engineer's advice. Right. Yeah, that's one of the things that I really uh, appreciate about a home inspection report mm -hmm. is that not only your wealth of knowledge and experience provides some great feedback on the condition of the home, True. but you are also the one who says, hey, I really recommend mm -hmm. that you get a professional to come in here and take a look at these yeah. specific items and get a more detailed understanding about Definitely. how they might be affecting the property. Definitely, and a, and a good inspector is not going to be the one that tells you who to go to. They're going to give you a direction. So it's not just, hey, there's a problem there and leave it up to you to fix, but give you an idea who to look for. And uh, you mentioned like structural engineer. That can be a scary thought on a home inspection. And most of the time we will first want to have you call out like a licensed contractor. Hmm because they're, they're the ones that are going to fix it, and if they need the engineer, they'll call them in. Okay. But uh, finding those po uh, points, finding those things that are a little bit uh, uh, more gnarly or something that could be scary in the house, yeah. yeah. We want somebody to come <clears throat> and look at that. And I, I think it's really important also to keep in mind that home inspections are designed to shine a big mm -hmm. bright light yes. on um, certainly resale homes, because mm -hmm. we don't know what the seller might have done, right, <laughs> while he or she is on no, the property. No, not at all. Uh, and I do mention in another video that I think it's also very important to have a home inspection when mm -hmm. you're buying new construction for the oh, same gosh. reason. Oh, right? yes. Oh, yes. Have you had any <laughs> horror stories about new construction inspections? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this let is me just say, no, let me just say we, we, did, we did do one where um, on the day of the inspection, the uh, contractor had uh, nailed into the plumbing. <gasps> really? And, uh, going down in the basement, of course, we walked into the water. So, oh, wow. Yeah. I just, important. I mean, like I said, I'm a huge fan of mm -hmm. home inspections and not mm -hmm. just for my buyers, but also for my sellers. So yes. I understand that you guys also um, provide a pre-inspection or a pre, what do we call it? A home pre-listing pre inspection. inspection. Mm -hmm. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? You betcha. And probably the first question we come up with uh, or we're asked about this is what is a pre-listing inspection? Is it just like a home inspection? And like I said, um, home inspectors should be following a standards of practice. Those standards dictate that we look at everything. And so both reports are exactly the same. Oh, good. Um, and uh, in our world and in, in our company, we find that detailed report is the most useful. Now, pre-listing inspection, more of a marketing tool, isn't it? Yeah. 
And you know, if we're looking at a, a, a seller that wants to make sure the condition of their home is really uh, done well, but also transfer some comfort to the buyer and to make their home a little bit more marketable. I agree. Um, having a listing inspection or a pre-listing inspection on their counter when that buyer looks through and sees that there's things that are checked off that are fixed and uh, sees that they're um, upright and willing to share the things that might be wrong with the house. Right. And then take care of them. Um, and we're not talking really the little bumps and bruises. I mean, every house has them. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, a seller that really takes it serious and takes that pride, I think that's what I see, to exit pride to go that extra step. And we always like to see kind of a, a paired sort of thing uh, with the pre-listing inspection. We always like to see some sort of a home warranty going along with that as well. Oh, good, good. And we have some amazing companies in the town. Um, one of which that we work with is Blue Ribbon Home Warranty, and we inspect their appliances and make sure they're operating for them uh, before they warrant the appliances. But think of that, think of pre listing inspection with a warranty sitting there, and that gives you a lot of comfort. And if you're selling that house and you have pride in the house, Definitely. Um, and I think you make it more marketable. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know I like to talk to sellers about the importance of a pre-listing inspection yes. because many times sellers mm -hmm. only find out about the situation um, condition about their property when right. they're under contract and they're under the gun, right? Because the yes. buyer has hired an inspector mm -hmm. to come into the property and now there's maybe a, a laundry list of things that need to be taken care of that are completely uh, surprising to the seller. Yeah, we don't like surprises, do we? No, no one likes surprises. And so if we can get ahead of the curve from the seller's right. point of view and know what the conditional issues are, even before we put the house on the market, Definitely. That gives the seller an opportunity to make some repairs. Of course, of course. And to not get surprised. Right, and puts them a little bit in control, right? Yeah. Um, when it comes to the home inspection, it's probably the one piece in the whole transaction almost the, it, where the seller doesn't feel in control. Mm -hmm. And so putting that control back in those hands are great. Yeah. We always like to see sellers fix up things before we come in houses. I mean, some of our least favorite write-ups are, you know, the, the, the light doesn't come on when the switch is turned, right? It's your favorite, isn't it? <laughs> right, it's um, so easy to fix. But I don't carry light bulbs. I don't, yeah. I don't change them out. We've been told that we should. Uh, I, but, um, uh, you know, there are a number of things that can put the seller back in control. And uh, that pre-listing inspection is way higher in that list. Right, yeah. and not to give the wrong impression, right? The buyer right. has control on this mm -hmm. transaction. The seller has control. But I think a buyer would be best served by walking into a home oh, gosh, that's definitely. been repaired and is uh, shining like a diamond, right? Conditionally definitely. is sound. And yep. so if the seller has that information ahead of time, they can prepare the home so that it's as good to perfect as can be for you the bet. buyer. But yeah. you know, the flip to that is that the buyer absolutely wants to get a home inspection as well. Oh yes, that's, right? a, that's a question we do get asked. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's a pre-listing inspection and I think you wanna have your own guy on your team. Yeah. And, and representing you uh, with an independent voice. Yeah, uh, yeah. the yeah. pre-listing inspection <laughs> just um, allows the seller to get a head start, I think, Definitely. on making sure the condition is there and yeah. shows, like you mentioned, that the seller is invested in providing Definitely. a healthy and safe house to the buyer, but wouldn't necessarily preclude the buyer from getting his or her own inspection. No, um, it's a better thing, don't you think? I do, Yeah. I do. Yeah. All right, good. So um, let's talk a little bit about what makes ground floor mm. different. Sure, sure. I, I always like talking about ground floor. <laughs> um, uh, our company um, has a belief. We believe that we're here to raise the standards of the industry. We as a company have gotten together and talked a lot about why we exist. And we really realize that we believe in making sure families are safe. And in making those families safe, how do we do that? Well, if, if, if we're not able to do all the inspections, which, you know, gee, we can't, <laughs> um, what about raising the standards of the industry so that other people aren't being hurt? And so, you know, part of raising those standards, in, in our opinion, is making sure that inspectors that are coming through the program um, or coming into our company have the proper education. Okay. Um, being one of nine national trainers, I spend of, uh, about a third of the uh, year uh, teaching for American Home Inspector Training. Nice. And my poor guys that work for me have to come through my class. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have to pass that class. And in addition to that, they have to pass what's called the National Home Inspector Examination. Now, none, of the, none of these things are required in Colorado. Hmm. We have no licensing. And yet for my company, I don't care. Um, raising the standard, doing the right thing, uh, doing things like continuing education, 
That is also required. My my team, they're all required to do 20 hours every Wonderful. year. Every year? Every year. That's and, great. Um, you know, that exceeds what the national standards would be. But if you want to raise the standards, if you want to be profession, that's it. And uh, you know, one of the things that sets us apart a little bit, again, as well, is we do home inspections really well. We believe that the study of homes, the study of all the systems in the homes is enough. And uh, one of the things that I, I, I'm always concerned about is when I see a company do too much. Hmm. You know, for example, um, I think sewer scope or sewer inspections are a great thing, but I believe personally that it, like a plumber should do those. Yeah. And um, being that a plumber does that, uh, we subcontract with a plumber that's been doing it for 20 years. Is that right? And yet we were certified in it. Hmm. So, you know, but what's the best for our clients? So it's how we can protect people best. Um, we, we do a, another little bit of a thing that's a little bit different. I read all the reports. Um, I have four people on my team. All right. And some days we'll have you know six, eight inspections, and I read every single one as if I were the buyer and try to get rid of any confusion or questions that might happen from that. That's wonderful. So, yeah. All right. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to share on our way out? I don't think so. Get a home inspection. Get a yes. home inspection. <laughs> awesome. Thank you Thanks, so Liz. much for being here. Thank you. And uh, thank you for being here. My name is Liz Bowen. I am a realtor and owner of Red Bow Realty, and what's important to you is important to me. Awesome.